like to say joining me is John Hahn and Martin Atok of uh, Peed and Bloodstock. Now, Martin, you've been, I have to say, instrumental in making sure that these horses have been brought here to China. And it's not been a slow process, has it? Well, indeed it's not. We've spent the last three years working on this with the European Commission and our colleagues and the authorities here in China to achieve this, starting from the very, very bottom and working our way up with all developing a whole concept to make this happen. And it is very, very unique what the Global Champion Tour has done here because it's the first time ever we've had a competition of this level here in China. I think, as you probably know, we created a disease-free zone and the same concept in 2010 for the Guangzhou Asian Games, which was similar but, but slightly different. But here, what's happened is quite, quite unique. It's been a lot of work, but with all the stakeholders actively participating, we have made it happen with good health requirements for these horses, maintaining the biosecurity, and of course, most importantly, getting the horses back to Europe after the competition. And that's what takes so much hard work. Well, yes, we mentioned there, I mean, it, it is about creating that, that special area for them, which is why we haven't been able to do this before. Now, there's been a lot of very, very high level, very high level discussions and agreements to get it to this stage. Absolutely, yes, but those high level discussions only took place once the actual concepts could be created, which Fiona McCormick, who's our veterinary surgeon at Peden Bloodstock, and I, we worked for a long time actually identifying and creating this disease free zone and then moving it up to the ladder to the highest levels with the European Commission in Brussels, of course, the European Embassy in, in Beijing, who are enormously participating in this process, and the ministry here to get the agreements that we need. But indeed, a lot of what we do is very much educational. The concept is there, but you've got to explain the concept and create the, give the reassurances we've got. And the Longines Global Champions Tour is quite unique in that regard because the quality of competition that they create and the back of house facilities that we can provide and guarantee here. I don't know if you've been back of house yet, but the stables, the warm up arena, everything we've got there is of the highest possible standard. And with the level of biosecurity we've got here and the control of the movement of horses, that's giving the reassurance to the European Union that we can indeed get these horses back again. But take me through a little bit of the process of bringing the horses here, because those of us that flew over 11, 12 hours flying us in a seat wasn't too complicated, but flying the horses is a bit more complicated. Well, indeed, I should mention, before we can actually fly the horses, we've been monitoring these horses for the last 60 days. So we've had all the riders and their grooms and their team stables working with us very intensely for 60 days, getting the horses up to standard to travel here, which we successfully achieved. We then consolidated the horses in Europe, and we brought them to an airport in Liège in Belgium, which is a perfect, quiet airport for our purposes. And the organizing committee chartered two Federal Express MD-11 cargo aircraft. So basically, they charter the airframe, and we provide everything else that's needed. We've got the air stables. There's a seat pallet that goes in there provided by the airline, of course, water. And our job is to make sure that everything runs really, really smoothly. Because at the end of the day, if you've got a relaxed horse, you've got a happy horse, and it's going to travel well. I think it's just like you. If you check in, perhaps, in Europe, in one of the lower, cheaper airlines, you might be quite stressed standing in long queues and going through security and immigration, all those arduous processes in airport. It's our job to make sure we try to give these horses literally a first-class experience, that they arrive at the airport happily and relaxed. We've got a quiet transfer for them from the lorries via the transfer ramp onto the air station a nice quiet transfer and a short transfer from where we've loaded them onto the aircraft. You then need a relatively punctual departure, of course, to make sure we're not waiting around too long. You've got aircraft, airline crews, FedEx in this case, working with us, and some of the grooms in the flight told me they didn't even realize if they were on the ground or if they'd taken off, and indeed the same on landing again. So the captains are working very, very hard to give us a really gentle takeoff, a slow climb, steady turns, they reach cruising altitude. They've got a nice temperature in the aircraft. Ideally, we like 17 degrees in the aircraft, which for the attendants, of course, is quite cold, chit chilly. But inside the air stables, we've got two horses at 600, 630 kilos standing there. They're generating body warmth. So it's crucial that it's nice and cool in there for them. And of course, the attendants and our professional flying grooms are with them all the time. They've got access to their own hay. And the most important thing is to hydrate them. Hydration, just like you, if you read that little booklet on the plane, drink as much water as possible. We do the same with the horses. And that's why we've got that additional uh, water tank on the aircraft. 
And as you might know, the aircraft, we flew six and a half hours from Liège to the Middle East, and we made a technical stop into Dubai, which is in a controlled environment. There we refueled and we changed crews. We had the option there, if we needed to, to put more water on the aircraft, which in fact we didn't need to do. And then it was a smooth transfer on down here to Shanghai. But the one thing I should say, and we do this regularly in every corner of the globe, the process on arrival here in Shanghai was exactly what we've been asking for, for through many, many meetings. And the authorities here and all the partners here did exactly what we asked them to do. And indeed, from the time the aircraft arrived, within two hours, these horses had completed all formalities of the airport with, of course, their equipment and the other supplies we had, and they were en route here to the venue. So we tried to keep the total Germany time to a minimum, which, of course, means the recover keeps the recovery time to a minimum with the supervision of the veterinary team we've got here, which ensures you've got happy, healthy horses fit to participate and compete. Hello.